Hi everyone, welcome back to the triple tutorial series here in the Berlin offices of Daria Eric. I'm joined once again by Neska, and today we're going to learn about discovery on the triple platform. Indeed, discovery of research resources is one of the, the, the key functionalities of the triple platform, and I'm really excited to learn more with you. Okay, so let me show you how I'm using gotriple.eu for my research purposes. For example, I would like to check what's new in the field of digital scholarly editing. Mm -hmm. And I'm typing digital scholarly edition into the search bar. And now we've got over 150 results. Not bad. Not bad at all. And as you can see, you can filter the documents by providers, okay. authors, disciplines, of course, publication date. Yeah. And I think I will choose 2021 in order to see what's new. It's always good to keep up to date with the newest research. Totally. And as you can see, you can uh, switch between documents, projects, and people. So the resources are divided into three main groups. Okay. Uh, projects are, let's say, more of a entries for gain to fast knowledge about particular projects there are, for example. Oh, so Still it's, a really, so it's a really good way to keep in track of what's going on in the community. Yep, not only publications, but also projects and people for networking purposes. But when we are com came back to um, our results, I need to choose 2021 one more. And I'm particularly interested in that text because okay. of the data set. That is a very fresh uh, view for digital scholarly editions right now to treat them as a data sets. And from here, I will click View Document Page. And we are on Zenodo. I assume you are yep. probably familiar yes. with that it's platform. Great site. Yep. You can check the downloads and views. And of course, you can work with this document right here. But when we go back to the Go Triple results, mm -hmm. I would like to show you uh, another way to check on results. Okay. Of course, you can switch between list and visual. And visual okay. are a couple of tables. You can, of course, filter by your results. And I also would like you to pay attention to, some, to a feature called Knowledge Map. Okay. Uh, we need to uh, wait a couple of seconds to uh, generate it. And as you can see, now all the texts are divided into subtopics and okay. grouped uh, with each other. For example, digital archives, diary, bibliography, mm, accessibility. And of course, if you choose a particular group, you can oh. see the text and you can go strictly to the document view page again and work with it. So it's That's quite nice. It's really intuitive. Intuitive and innovative, I think. Uh, knowledge map is very, I think, uh, tempting for some kind of distant reading research. Mm -hmm. And in general, any kind of uh, digital humanities research that involves a large amount of data. But a part of knowledge map, we also have another feature called stream graph. And I will click on this right now. It is also takes some time to being created. But that does mean that it's being generated. It's, it's, yep. it's, it's working, it's getting the, the most recent results. That's true. And now you've got that nice visualization about how the topics evolved within oh. digital scholarly editing uh, terms. So I can see that there are letters which are very common for digital scholarly editing. Of course, history is another point of view or another discipline that is involved. Even if mine is literary research, I can check all of them on stream graph, which is really handful. And of course, we've, we've got the text, for example, if we choose TI line, and of ah. course, you can go to page of a text immediately. I really like how that works. Once again, really great work on the intuitive side. Yep. So I encourage you to try all those visualizations on your own. Yeah. And not just for me, but for all of our followers, you can really check this out. You can go to gotriple.eu. It's a fantastic way where you can continue your own research and, and work on your own discovery pathway and find with the help of the knowledge graph as well as the stream graph the resources that you're looking forward to. So with that said, I, there's really nothing left to do except to thank you, Agnieszka, for showing us the discovery sector of the uh, triple platform and to invite you all to come back for the next round, which will be looking on onboarding and authentication so that you can log into the GoTriple platform yourself.